Hey guys, so I recently put up a video of my exploration in the fall with Emily and we came across a plethora of acorns and today I'm going to tell you the horror story of acorns. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what happened. It was a cold, chilly day. We were walking, and we saw a plethora of acorns. We thought to ourselves, wow, we could never find that many acorns before. You know, normally they're snatched up by the squirrels and all the other little furry creatures that eat acorns. And I thought to myself, I should collect some before they're snatched away. So we did. We took as many as about 10, looking them over, finding the best ones we could find. And we thought we really hit the jackpot. But we were wrong. So wrong. <laughs> That's a really good evil laugh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, this is what happened. I decided to put them in a jar instead of keeping them in their original bag. So I washed them off, got rid of the dirt, put them in a jar. Well, dried them and then put them in the jar. And then I left them on my windowsill and just left them there. Forgot about them. Went on with my life. A few weeks later, though, I thought to myself, I haven't taken a look at the acorns in a while. Let me pull some out and see what I want to do with them. It was a good idea that I looked. Because lo and behold, I grazed the jar and what did I find? Maggots! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, they were just the little thingies of acorn weevils. Apparently they, I didn't even know what an acorn weevil was until I googled it. Well, I technically googled maggots in acorns and then it said it was the larva of an acorn weevil. <laughs> it was horrible. They were, they were everywhere. Now luckily they can't climb out of glass so to my benefit, they never actually got out of them. Now, acorn weevils, if you didn't know, are actually not as bad as they seem. The larva is surprisingly slightly bigger than the bug, but the bug itself is tiny and harmless to humans, pets, animals, and to the household, although they will burrow for a few years into your carpet, especially the larva, and stay there until they turn into a bug, which takes a few years. <sighs> So they're exciting and they're everywhere. Apparently squirrels who are geniuses know how to figure out if an acorn has been infected or not. I did not. Apparently when you go acorn hunting, pretty much you gotta go as early as you can in the season before they are infected by the weevil and before the smart squirrels pick up all the good ones. <laughs> also, if you are hunting early. Also make sure you check to see if there is a tiny itty bitty hole in the acorn because that is how the acorns get impregnated with the larva. Ugh. So basically I will never be hunting for acorns again. Now this is an acorn lid. I don't mind taking the lids because guess what? There's nothing wrong with the lid. There's nothing in it. But I will never <laughs> go acorn hunting again ever <laughs> because that was disgusting and I've known people who have taken bushels of them and brought them into the house and then they find all these larvae one day hatching horrible just horrible needless to say I will be buying my acorns from a reputable dealer probably someone like Rose Mountain Herbs <laughs> anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this theatrical tale of horror of acorns. As always guys, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.